Hello everyone. So uh, today I am going to work on this procedurally developed uh, moon bridge. So here I am going to use the proce advanced procedural tools I implemented in Unreal Engine uh, 4 open world series. So I have updated those tools to Unreal Engine 5 and I am going to demonstrate how to build this very long bridge using that procedural tool. So this is the, the demonstration. So as you can see, all these uh, different components, these are different measures. For example, this, uh, even though this selects in the same uh, as one component because I have used instanced static measures here, but these statues, these pillars, these uh, Staggers parts those are uh, Different measures they are programmed they are laid out in the level through the script using procedural tools So let's see how to do this today Right so for this I am going to use this uh, mode map I worked on previously and also I am going to use these procedural tools that I have implemented for my in my open world series so and I have updated those uh, procedural advanced procedural tools into Unreal Engine 5 as well so I'll put a separate link to download that also so if you don't remember what these procedural tools means this is the uh, way I implemented to procedurally uh, make these measures for example this bridge with separate measures placed as instanced static measures but they are uh, laid out through the script so that I can have a long bridge as I want without having to place them manually so for example if I make this longer you can see the bridge is laid out so all these measures these um, statues these uh, paths these platforms everything are separate measures also if you want to do uh, any changes to individual measures even though these are instance instant st static measures we have uh, facilities to do that too using this procedural editor all you have to do is select the procedural object that you want to modify and press start editing once you do that uh, everything is co converted to static measures temporarily so you can do all the edits you want for example let's say you want to make this guy a bit larger or this guy put in the middle or maybe like dropped on the floor or just not to have some of these bars uh, not bars, pillars in the middle to make it less even or maybe even not have some of the sections so yeah you can do all that and then press finish editing now again everything is converted to instance static meshes so that's good for performance and after doing that this uh, simulation is disabled but if you want to re-enable simulations you can just press this simulate now only that mesh component is being simulated but if you want to simulate these other meshes as well for example this is statue you can enable simulations again so yeah so this is the advanced procedural tools I have implemented and this everything you see here is this rock ridge or this roads 
and this built-in that uh, is implemented with many objects many separate meshes this is everything is developed procedurally using the same tool oh, i think i have missed one of the pillars here yeah that's okay can be fixed uh, right now i have imported this tool into my moon project let me close this and i will show you how to use that tool to create a bridge a very long bridge from here to the moon uh, if you try to do it manually it will take a very long time and also you will not be able to, you can make changes but if you want to make any changes later on it will take also take a very long time so i just kind of wanted to show the power of this procedural generation right so let me place one of these procedural objects and it should not have any procedural elements by default right then uh, this is where it starts let me rotate it 90 degrees Let's start it from here. And uh, I'll select this point. Convert this spline point type to constant. Right. Uh, now, if I select this spline and select the end spline point this uh, x amount if i append three more zeros it goes a uh, very long it becomes longer similarly if i append three more zeros here oh it sorry i should have added it to the y it becomes stronger like that see so maybe we need set the mode a bit higher right now this would be the path where we lay out our procedural home bridge so to keep things manageable I'll remove three zeros from here so that we it would be easier for us to test this then after everything is finalized we can make it longer again okay. All right, so now I will add the first. Let me select the main object, procedural object. I'll rename this procedure one bridge <coughs> as the first element. I have this, I have imported this meshes from infinity blade grasslands and i'm going to use this mesh this is staircase block select it add assign so now as you can see it's assigned this way that's not the way we need it should be rotated to 90 degrees so i have this uh, rotation offset around 
is a axis I'll make it I'll add 90 and also it should not align uh, to this spline so I need to keep it vertical so I have this keep vertical option if I enable it this stays vertical but there is a gap so I have this distance let's try something like 450 not enough no still too much 400 there is a small gap 90 yeah that seems fine so if I play the game I can climb on it uh, but because of this gap the character kind of wobble so This seems fine. Okay, now let's add some something else to the sides. Let's filter static meshes. All the static meshes. Let's add this. Let's add a new procedural element. Mesh. That one. Mm. Okay, that also I need to keep vertical. Right. And rotate. 90 degrees, no, minus 90 degrees. Right. Uh, maybe they should sit on another pillar. So we can add this one. And then for the previous one, uh, oh, this should be slightly inward, otherwise, it stays in the air. Yeah. Set x 20, not x y 20. right that should be you know now the first one uh, the previous one let's add a z offset
now that side is done one side is done uh, now the other side for that we can actually duplicate the same uh, copy to more instances no. add one and copy stuff from here copy and paste now this also has should have the same mesh yeah let's add uh, 800 right and plus 90 rotation okay similarly another one and copy details from this one index 2 Here also we need to have an offset about 800. Okay, seems fine. Does it match? Yeah. Maybe. I think those elements should be enough but if we need we can add more but yeah, it should be enough to demonstrate now all we have to do is uh, select the other spline point select this spline point select the first select the spline component and then select the spline point now we can access this location let me add three more zeros now it becomes longer and again select that point for the z also add three more zeros see now we have the moon bridge completed now we can go to the moon if you want if you are brave enough feel free to try make it long to match the moon distance and walk maybe you can share a video okay so yeah so just like this if you need additional elements you can add them too but uh, i think this should be enough to demonstrate how to use this tool So here it is our moon bridge. And thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link could be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get them in the ship of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye